hello community in this discussion we will see how to add button in the list view and we will see two different test cases one is like simple button we can add in the list view plus we can add button with the images and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add style such as italic bold or different colors in the specific fields or the whole row with different colors and based on the multiple conditions please check link is given in description and if you want to learn more about odoo with specific views only then you can follow this playlist odoo views gui front end views so here you will get all the supported views plus the real test case and in case you are following this channel this odoo channel this is the main channel here so you don't need to follow any other odoo related playlist because this is the main playlist and it's cover all the tutor all the discussions here and if you want to learn more about odoo but in the specific topic only then you can just go to you can just visit any of this playlist here and apart from this you can see here there is a two different topic also available python related tips and the editor related tips if you need any supports you can just go to an about page and you can go to here and you can just shoot your query to this email address let's back to our main topic like how we can add a button in the list view here so let's back to our main topic so here you can see we already change the color of this list view here plus we also use like different styling like this now here we will try to add one more button here in the list view how we can do like simply we have to go to in the editor we have to first open that view part like let's say in views views.xml file and simply this is our tree view if you don't know how to create a tree view it's already defined in the playlist so simply like we have to provide here button name and string and the type these three attributes we have to use here but don't worry about the button related flow i will not going into the deep because uh, the button related discussion cover in our button related topic but here you have to simply rem uh, remember like whenever you have to create a button you need this three attributes here the type then after string string then after the name attribute the name attribute we have to provide here the method name but right now i don't know like actually which method i have to call from the python side so simply i'm going to in models.py file and i'm just trying to find out any button uh any method like let's say or let's say i'm just trying to create a new method like def and here like button click event like this and i will write simple error like rise user error you click this button woohoo all right and let me copy this name only and we have to paste here in the name attribute this attribute the string attribute is used to uh, display the label name of the button so let's say click me and here like there are different types of uh, button available but right now we are using object all right and simply like we can add button in the list view here i mean in the tree view and let me upgrade the module like student under sorry like school underscore student let me go to front end side and trying to refresh the patch all right so you can see here this click me button available let me add here like once i click here you can see this click event call to that specific python method like you click this button woohoo so like whatever message you pass you can just pass like that where here but now if you want to add 
icons in the list view in the button specifically it is also possible like if you go to here in the pie chart if you don't know how many icons available in the in this Odoo 14 version simply you can go to here in the web module so that is the core mode uh, core module handle all the request like here like we have to go to in static lib here you can see this font awesome simply you have to remember this version like right now like we are you right now this Odoo version 14 using this version font awesome 4.7.0 all right so let me go to in browser again and here like simply i will use like fa font w awesome all right and you can see like uh, this is also the latest version here uh, you can see here plus you can see here the version name also 4.7 and simply you can use all these icons let me zoom out so all icons you can use in Odoo but might be if you don't know like how you can add such icons don't worry like let's say we use the click event so let me add click if it is not available then I will use like arrow so we have these different types of arrows available here uh, let me choose this one okay like let I uh, let me click to this font and you can redirect to this page now simply you have to play uh, you have to copy this class only all right like copy and simple we have to go to in PyCharm in our button and simply we have to paste here that class only that's it we don't need to use any extra icon attribute here and simply we need to restart the service plus upgrade the module restart the service is not mandatory here because we are only changing in the xml side uh, let me go refresh the page here now you can see it's also visible icon plus the this label also so you can see so you can see this icon here it's also visible then after the label name if i click here you can see uh, it's called a python method here like user error all right uh, if you want to add more icons the different icon it is also possible like you have to choose the meaningful icon as per your requirement here and that's it like let's say i'm using this not this one but this one like let's say this one let me open here and let me copy this class name and let me add here like usually i'm replace this class name and let's say here if you see here like right now i don't want to use this label name then simply I, I will remove this one all right and trying to upgrade the module so what happened like it's only visible the icon only here let's see how we are just trying to refresh the page and here you can see once the load complete you can see this button visible and if I click here you can see still it's call this method but uh, some cases might be there is a chance like these two attribute we didn't mention here and we are trying to add such button then what happened we will see here like it's completely invisible here so you can't uh, perform any action here you can see that You can't do anything here like once I click here like somehow sometimes 
like on that line the small line if you click over there then and then this will call otherwise you can see it it's always open the form view or respective views here like let's say if i click here it's open the form view but if you see here you can uh, focus on this cursor and if you click this line only then it will call this method otherwise it won't work so it's best practice either you can use icons or you can use the, any label name here so that would be very preferable to add any button here i hope you understood like how you can add button in the list view plus the icon you can you already know like how you can add some different types of icons in the button using this font or some website and yes you have to remember this 4.7 version they are like actually Odoo is using for the double confirmation you have to check here like which font or some they are using here all right so that's it for this topic and we will see in our upcoming session like how you can hide specific field here and uh, you can also visible that field based on the user request here so we will see you in our next session in case you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session